Hello Gemini, welcome to my weekly Tarot Love channel. I took a week off last week, as uh, some of you may have noticed, and I'm back. I just needed some time out uh, just to get some fresh inspiration to continue. And um, you may or may not know I'm on the ocean, on the Philippines, on an island somewhere, so there are noises here that I can't avoid. But hopefully it won't disturb us. All right, so while I'm talking to you, I'm just shuffling the cards for the reading. And this is for Gemini, the collective, and their other. I have given the cards a good shuffle already, but we'll just do a little bit more. So today I'm going to be exploring the feelings and the intentions between you and your other. And this isn't a reading for single people. It's for people that are in something, some kind of a connection, whether it's marriage or just a energetic uh, interest that um, exists between you and the person, but nothing actually tangible has happened yet. So we'll be exploring the feelings and the intentions between you and the other. And uh, in the past, the present and the future, as well as the unifying energies between you and the other. And then we'll top it off with uh, seeing what the best way to proceed forward is based on what has come up in the reading. Okay, so just I'm just going to pick the cards, if you can just bear with me. Okay, Gemini. So how I normally work with these cards is the right side, these cards over here represent the feelings between you and the other person. Um, and this is more of a private inner place. It's, it's kind of what you hope for on a deep level. <clears throat> and then on this side, we have the actions and all the intentions. So this is kind of more what's on the outside, what's been shown. And... I often find that they're not working in harmony together, the head and the heart. Uh, and it's to do with fears and ego and things that pop up between the two of you. Okay, so what are the unifying energies between you, Gemini, and the other? What are the unifying energies between you and the other? So, um, yeah, so I can see in the past that you both wanted the connection, um, and there, there was some kind of alignment between the two of you. Um, they feel a lot of passion for you, the, the Ace of Wands card comes up. And they're, they're really interested in you. Um, you know, the lover's card comes up in their feelings. Like, you're someone that they want to be intimate with. And uh, they, they, they're presenting their passion towards you. They're really coming at you with their possible sexual energy. But what I'm seeing with you is more of a stoic stance. You're, the Hierophant card is coming up for you which shows me that you're wanting to build something possibly more serious. So you want more of a commitment, you want stability, you want consistency, you want to create, um, <clears throat> to create a relationship with this person. And, and the Justice card is coming up for you as well. So in your actions, you are, you know, the Justice card is talking about cause and effect. So um, you're very conscientious about what it is that you are putting into the relationship and there's a maturity and an awareness here um, and I feel like it has to do with the long term so um, despite that I feel like um, you know I've got the eight of cups card coming up in the feelings between the two of you and there's something that both of you are not walking away from there's something in the relationship that needs to be acknowledged and neither of you are acknowledging it so I have the strength card in reverse in your feelings between the two of you. So it feels like 
<clears throat> something there that needs to be looked at isn't being looked at and addressed by both of you. And um, something in your feelings that you're both needing to walk away from, you're not walking away from it. Um, you're, it's not being addressed. In the present moment, um, yeah, so the, the card that's coming up is talking about turning in. Um, the success can only happen if there's a turning in, because there's a lot of control right now. So there, there, there could be control on your part or on their part. Um, yeah, if I, if I look at the, the, the connection in the present moment, neither of you are seeing what's there in the relationship, in your feelings for each other. It's almost like there's, there's, this, there's an element of apathy that's set in. Apathy is the wrong word. Um, listlessness, like almost boredom even. Um, and your feelings for them are, are that, they're, again, you're, you're wanting security. You're wanting um, the abundance of the connection. But for them, I can see their feelings. They've shut down. So they're still present with you, but they're not fully showing their feelings. They're not revealing what it is that they want. And I can see it's created um, some kind of disconnection within the connection where you're not seeing each other. You're not even connecting emotionally. And it's, yeah, it's created conflict. Um, and for them, I can also see they're going, th they're, they're not allowing themselves to go through the tower. The tower is about the walls crumbling down and going through a radical transformation and a shift. And it's like, and this could have to do with a control card. They're not allowing themselves to access the, the meltdown and the, the breakdown that needs to happen in order for the rising of the phoenix from the ashes to happen. They're resisting that. And, uh, and so, yeah, for you, I see that you are, um, it's almost like you're wanting, you, you're intending for a new creative beginning. Um, and what's happening is you both you both showing it. You've, the King of Cups card is coming up in the actions between the two of you or the intentions between the two of you. So you're showing each other. Um, you, you know, the King of Cups generally doesn't show their feelings. So um, they feel very deeply, but they don't show their feelings. So I feel like there's a possibility that there's a pretending that everything is okay happening. But deep down inside, um, things are not being addressed or seen for what they are. Because in the future, and I, I can see again, you know, there's the, the five of uh, ones in the unifying energies between the two of you, which talks about, it's, so it's the conflict card in reverse. So either you're not wanting to go into the conflict, or you've just come out of an intense conflict because we also have the page of pentacles card and the chariot so wanting to take both of you wanting to take charge of the situation and ground yourself uh, reach a place of stability within the connection and i can see that with you gemini you're wanting some kind of new beginning and stability with the connection but then something happens again and um yeah i see in the future you there's the three of swords See what's coming up here okay so um, a loved one travels far away for a long period a phase of longing loneliness and anxiety and physical stress plans for a union are put on hold events are out of your control but as the wise man once said this too shall pass so it doesn't necessarily mean that they are actually going away it can just mean that they're not here with you and I can see that with the four of cups um, they're not, and they've gone into some kind of shutdown as well. So they're not here with you. And it's creating pain for you, I can see. Um, uh, but at the same time, you're waiting to see what happens while they go through this shutdown. Okay, let's see what cards come up here. loyalty 
and journey. Okay, growth. Um, yeah, so I just want to get three cards to see where this is evolving to because I do see that there's some kind of acceptance of the situation and some kind of new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles over here. They, their intention is to stabilize. They're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. Their intention is to stabilize themselves despite feeling trapped on the inside. Um, and for you, you're watching to see what happens, but I think you're showing some kind of rejection possibly to the connection. And for both of you, there's a surrender that's busy happening um, within the connection in the future. And this is allowing for a new beginning to happen. I feel we've got the Ace of Pentacles here, so um, I feel like it's offering a new opportunity. Let's see where this is evolving towards in the future. Okay, so that's that's promising. We have the Two of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands, and we have the Page of Cups in reverse. So the Page of Cups in reverse uh, is the love offering is um, held back. So with regards to the relationship and the passion, uh, something has been held back. But the, the relationship and the passion is there. So let's see what follows that. We've got the Sun card. So I almost feel like what this is trying to say is this period of holding back from your love, you come out of it and you're able to return to the happiness of the relationship, the passion of the relationship again. And I've got the Knight of Pentacles, so returning to stability, returning to feeling grounded and able to keep going with the connection. This is a very promising card for me because it shows that despite the difficulties that are or have happened, you can manage them and you can keep going um, because this relationship is important. So that, that feels really promising for me. You know, we have got the Clover card over here and we've got the Loyalty card. And so, um, yeah, I feel that there's movement happening with regards to the, the power of the relationship. There's some kind of new luck that's coming through. Luck is the wrong word. Um, there's, there's new light coming into the connection in the future. And um, it's, it's really important for you just to allow um, this to unfold. As it needs to. All right. Whoops. So I just want to see the. I, I feel like that's answered all the connections. The, the card is talking about turning in during this period. And I see the High Priestess card comes up for you, Gemini, in your feelings towards the other. So, um, yeah, I feel like there, there is an element of surrender that happens for you and acceptance and wisdom, uh, embracing the unknown of not being in this connection the way you'd like it to be. I hope that shed some light on the situation and have faith. I do feel that everything will return back to um, a healthier place um, in no time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe. And I'd love to hear what your comments are, if this resonates or not, to communicate. Thanks. Bye.